हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल माय सेल्फ चेतन जाधव सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट चैप्टर नंबर सेवन दैट इज़ अ टूलिंग फॉर सी एन सी सो टुडे विल सी द चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज एटोमेशन सो इन दैट चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर कंसेप्ट एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एटोमेशन इट्स टाइप्स एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ एटोमेशन एटोमेशन एंड कैडकैम एंड कैडकैम एंड सिम दैट इज अ कंप्यूटर इंटीग्रेटेड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग देन ग्रुप टेक्नोलॉजी देयर पार्ट फैमिली देन क्लासिफिकेशन एंड कोडिफिकेशन सिस्टम एंड इट्स एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ द ग्रुप टेक्नोलॉजी देन कंप्यूटर एडेड प्रोसेस प्लानिंग retrieval and generative types of the computer aided process planning then emrp concept of the erp concept of the rapid prototyping so this is the syllabus for the this chapter number 4 so before starting the uh, first point we will just uh, see the what is the meaning of this title automation is a, a generally defined as the process of making machines to follow a predefined sequence of operations with a little or no human errors uh, labor using specialized equipment and devices that performs and control manufacturing process uh, automation is nothing but we are going to manufacture with a predefined sequence of operation means uh, before going to manufacture we have to prepare one program that program we are going to give as input to that nc machine so that machine will be perform accordingly that program in that process we require only small amount the human efforts or no human efforts so this is called as just automation we will see the uh, another definition of the automation uh, automation means automatic handling of the machine tools with the some devices and to produce operations this is also second definition so by using some automatic handling machine we are uh, just producing the or we are just manufacturing the our required parts that called as automation uh, then we will see the uh, idea of this chapter why we are going to study this and what we studied so this chapter includes the concept information about the automation okay so in that we will see group technology computer aided manufacturing integrate manufacturing computer aided process planning material requirement planning enterprise resource planning rapid prototyping and related concepts which is necessary for the automation so this is the central idea of this chapter then importance of the this chapter automation is a backbone of the most of the industry most of the industry an increase in production volume product variety and manufacturing process complete complexity needs automation to ensure consistent and profitable production so in most of the industry we are using automation uh, because we want to increase in production volume variety of the product manufacturing process we have to create the complex part so by using this automation and we will get more profit in production so that is the main importance of this chapter so this is just uh, some ideas importance and about the title chapter so we will start the chapter first bit that is a uh, automation automation means what so automation is a uh, generally defined as the process of machine to follow a predefined sequence of operations with little or no human labor using specialized equipment and device that perform and control manufacturing process already we have seen what is mean by automation by using a predefined sequence of operations we are going to create manufacturing process or we are performing manufacturing process by using some specialized equipment okay in that uh, we will see there are three types of the automation in that first first uh, first one is fixed automation uh, we can call it as hard automation 
second is a programmable automation we can call it as a soft automation and last one is flexible automation so in that uh, we have already seen uh, this uh, this is the syllabus this is a uh, some assignment questions before starting chapter we will see this define automation and discuss the advantages and limitation discuss the role of the gt that is group technology in cpp hence discussion importance of the cpp industry what is the sim discuss the role in cad cam in sim explain concept of the group technology write short note on mrp write short note on erp so these are the sample assignment questions so right now we have seen this definition of the automation types of the automation so we will go for first one that is your fixed automation uh, in this fixed automation system sequence of the manufacturing or processing is fixed by the equipment configuration the system involves integration of various system sequence of operation thereby reducing setup and production time fixed automation is economically those area where there are continuous high demands for the product at high value bottling points and packaging plants are typically application of the fixed automation and its limitation that is inflexibility to accommodate the different product uh, actually uh, this type of automation we can use uh, fair there required as a mass production means suppose we want to create only one type of the products that time we are going to this fixed automation type because of in this uh, automation uh, before starting manufacturing we are going to fix uh, that system sequence of manufacturing or processing with some equipment configuration and it involves integration of the various fixed sequence of operation in this system we can change that sequence because of already we have uh, fixed the sequence so you can see the here some highlight uh, highlight is there sequence of manufacturing is fixed uh, reduction in setup and production time we are uh, by using this system we can reduce uh, setup time because of we have already fixed that uh, sequence of operation then production time also economically in mass production we can use this system for the mass production where their requirement of the one part is more in flexibility to accommodate different product because of this uh, fixed uh, operation so we cannot be changes that design of the products so uh, it it is not applicable for the different products so we can only focus on the mass production example bottling and packaging plant so this is our first type of the automation fixed automation where we can use at a time of the mass production where their mass production is required that time we are going to use this first automation type fixed that is called as hard automation so we'll see next type next type of the automation that that is a programmable automation that is called as a soft automation so in that uh, automation uh, greater flexibility is achieved through the use of the computer control of the machine and its function by various programs soft automation is an important de uh, development because the machine can be easily reprogrammed to produce a part having a shape or dimension different from the one produced just before it because of this characteristics soft computation can produce parts having complex shapes this kind of automation is most suitable for batch production and fair medium production rate is required for example cnc bmc machines uh, uh, already we have seen that the uh, first type of the program automation uh, that is a fixed automation in that we have seen that uh, only uh, we can go for the mass production why because we are going to fix that sequence of operation configuration equipment so for that we cannot change the product design because there is a inflexibility in that automation but in this programmable automation by using computer system we can change that function of the various programs and we can create the new type of the product at the same line 
so that will be a new benefit for this automation in that one system only we can create the different different types of the products so it will be give a greater flexibility due to the computers reprogramming helps to variety of the products we can change the program we can uh, just change one to three blocks and we can change some dimension for that existing part and then we can create the new part and it is basically suitable for the batch production and where the medium production rate is required you can take the example of the cnc bmc machine in that machine we can create the different different types of the part so this is the second type of the automation so we'll see the next third type is a flexible automation uh, in that system a variety of the products can be produced with no time lost for changeovers from one product to the next it also has the capability to change the part program with no loss of production time advance in computer system technology are largely responsible for this programming capability in flexible automation it has higher flexibility as comparison to other automation types it requires high investment cost flexible manufacturing system is a good example of the flexible automation so already we have seen the previous two type of the automation that is the first one is a fixed second one is a programmable and last one is a flexible as compared to fixed and programmable in this flexible automation we can create a number of the different type of the design and in this system we have more of flexibility as compared to the previous two automation because of we are using highly flexible automation system means we are having more facility in this system by using computer system computer technology we are creating we are changing program we are give, changing the sequence so we can create a different different type of the variety of the products can be possible with no more time lost during the change over of this from one product to another product no loss of the production time during programming because it will take a very less time it will give more flexibility and requires but it requires more investment for this flexible system example flexible manufacturing system is one of the best example for the this type of the automation so this is the types of the automation three types of the automation fix programmable and flexible so we will see next slide in this automation advantages okay so overall what are the advantages of the automation so we will see first reduction in production time having a machine uh, that automated definitely in speeds of production because we are using automation machines so it will be give more product profitably it will reduce your downtime it will reduce your lead time it will reduce your production time and it will give more benefit with less human error that is the first advantages increase in accuracy and repeatability of course we are using the automation machines so it will increase accuracy as compared to the conventional machining because there is no or a less interference of the uh, human labor or employee and repeatability compared to an employee is uh, far greater okay so that one is a second benefit less human error because of we are using automation system so there is uh, no chances or less chances to making mistake at the time of the manufacturing less employee cost because we are using automation system so there is uh, no um, problem of the employee cost or with having less employee there are numerous cost of that uh, diminished or reduced such as the play role benefits sick days and etc okay so next increase the safety having automated machines means having less employees which perform task that can be dangerous and prone to injury which can make the work environment safer so we are using automation system 
so there is no chances to getting some uh, injury to the workers so higher volume production by using this automation we can create the large volume production we can go for the mass production for fixed automation we can go for the batch production we can go for the variety of the production this is also an important benefit so next is leader reduction is the labor cost shorter labor shortage can be avoided by using this automation we uh, there is no need to for the labor so there is also advantages increase productivity reduction is human related problem that is safety related problem safety of the operator optimum use of the expensive material flexibility to the designer improved product quality by using this uh, automation we can improve the quality of the product reduce lead time reduction is work in process inventory increase shop efficiency so these are the advantages of the automation next is disadvantages of automation so first part that is a less versatility so uh, in this automation one disadvantage is there so uh, there is one um, problem means we cannot call, call it as a problem but certain limit we cannot create the uh, variety of the task because there is a, a limitation so and uh, regarding that uh, flexibility also some limit is there so that will be leads to the less versatility then more pollution uh, by using this different different automation we are moving towards the industry 4.0 so it will give uh, more productivity and it will give more quality products but at the same time we have to face that pollution part and that one is important so this can cause an uh, increase in pollution in the workplace as well as in our surrounding environment large initial investment for any automation system we have to spend the more cost or more in more money for that first installment itself so that will be leads lie initial high initial investment increase in unemployment by using this uh, automation system so it will tends to the unemployment rates or it will increase the unemployment rate so last unpredictable cost there can be several unpredictable cost may be exceed the actual cost of the saved by the automation itself so at the time of the using this automation so sometime it will be unpredictable cost of for that the particular products um, because of the research and development cost in automatic system preventive maintenance cost cost of the training of the employee for that operating that machines so that total cost will be certain time that will be increases next high initial cost complicated machinery is there downtime are once uh, down uh, machine is uh, switch off or uh, suddenly any error is there so that down downtime are very expensive for that mesh company because uh, in that certain minutes or in hours they will create a large number of the production so that will be tends to the uh, loss only so that downtime is uh, very expensive higher maintenance cost is required for that machining worker unemployment human skill got waste lesser job opening because of this automation so these are the disadvantages of the automation so today we have seen that what is mean by automation their types fixed automation programmable automation and flexible automation and automation advantages and disadvantages so for today's lecture this is enough so thank you thank you so much remaining part we'll see in next lecture